welcome back to the story students you all might be wondering why this story is named as adventures of toto since it did not involve toto going out on some excursion or some daring experience which had involved some risks but uh, the more we get to know about the pranks of toto the more we get certain that his mischiefs were no less than adventures which shook the whole house i wondered what the grandmother would say but grandfather didn't worry he seemed pleased with toto's performance he's clever said grandfather given time i'm sure he would have tied the torn pieces of your blazer into a row and made an escape from the window now here the writer was worried about grandmother's reaction and see how grandfather was glorifying him he called him a clever monkey according to him toto could have tied the torn pieces of the blazer into a rope and would have easily escaped from the house his presence in the house still a secret till now grandmother had no idea about toto Toto was now transferred to a big cage in the servants' quarters, where a number of grandfather's pets lived very sociably together. A tortoise, a pair of rabbits, a tame squirrel, and for a while, my pet goat. So, in this family zoo, private zoo of grandfather, these animals lived in a very close bonding happily together and those were a tortoise a pair of rabbits a pet squirrel and the writer's pet goat but the monkey wouldn't allow any of his companions to sleep at night but toto was very troublesome he did not let them sleep so grandfather who had to leave dehradun next day to collect his pension in saharanpur he decided to take him along so grandfather was left with no other choice but to take toto along with him to saharanpur unfortunately i could not accompany grandfather on that day but he told me about it afterwards now toto could not be carried by grandfather like this as animals were not allowed to travel so grandfather made some arrangement a big black canvas kit bag was provided for toto this with some straw at the bottom became his new abode so a thick textured canvas bag was brought and some hay or straw or straw were placed beneath to provide a cushion like base and for the time being this bag was toto's new abode means home when the bag was closed there was no escape toto could not get his hands through the opening and the canvas was too strong for him to bite his way through so there was no escape for toto he could not peep out of the canvas bag neither could he bring out his hands his efforts to get out only had the effect of making the bag roll about on the floor or occasionally jump into the air an exhibition that attracted a curious crowd of onlookers on the dehradun railway platform so children you could have imagined how funny and shocking the scene would have been for the onlookers for the passengers at the platform seeing the bag jumping and rolling on the floor toto remained in the bag as far as saharanpur till now there was no trouble seen but while grandfather was producing his ticket at the railway turnstile toto suddenly poked his head out of the bag and gave the ticket collector a wide grin toto how could he have remained quiet for a long so when the grandfather was showing the ticket 
at the railway turnstile turnstile is a passage at public area which rotates and allows the passage of one person at a time so here this ticket collector was checking the tickets and that very moment toto peeped out of his bag and smiled with a wide grin at the ticket collector the poor man was taken aback he was in a shock but with great presence of mind and much to grandfather's annoyance he said sir you have a dog with you you'll have to pay for it accordingly now he had to ask for a fine as according to him grandfather was carrying a dog along with him grandfather was very much annoyed at this in vain did grandfather take toto out of the bag in vain did he try to prove that a monkey did not qualify as a dog or even as a quadruped toto was classified a dog by the ticket collector and 3 rupees was the sum handed over as his fare grandfather's efforts to take toto out of the bag and trying to prove that it was a monkey and not a dog all got wasted in vain means all became useless ticket collector had to take a fare of 3 rupees in the name of a dog and so grandfather had to pay him this amount then grandfather just to get his own back took from the pocket our pet tortoise and said what must i pay for this since you charge for all animals the ticket collector looked closely at the tortoise prodded it with his forefinger gave grandfather a pleased and triumphant look and said no charge it's not a dog so grandfather in his anger he took out their pet tortoise from his pocket and asked for its fare also but the ticket collector he was not interested in the tortoise as he had already taken the fare and so he allowed them to leave when toto was finally accepted by the grandmother he was given a comfortable home in the stable where he had for a companion the family donkey nana after all grandmother came to know about this and she accepted toto's presence in the family but she allowed him to stay in the stable with their family donkey whose name was nana on toto's first night in the stable grandfather paid him a visit to see if he was comfortable to his surprise he found nana without apparent cause pulling at her halter and trying to keep her head as far as possible from a bundle of hay during the night grandfather decided to pay a visit to the stable to see if toto was comfortable and to his surprise he was shocked to see that nana was very restless he was pulling its rope in order to stay away from the pile of hay what could be the reason grandfather stroked nana on the back in order to stop it and nana pushed back dragging toto along with her let's see what actually happened grandfather gave nana a slap across her haunches haunches means the back and she jerked back dragging toto with her nana moved back pulling toto along with her he had fastened on to her long ears with his sharp little teeth so this was the real cause nana pushed back dragging toto and toto had been hanging on to her long ears gripping them tightly with his sharp little teeth toto and nana never became friends since then they both were like enemies
so children there have been many incidents where toto displayed his mischievous performances he spoiled the plan of the grandfather and in spite of being securely packed inside the bag toto managed to peep out of it and that too at the wrong time and also how he could not keep calm at the stable how he troubled the poor donkey nana that she could not save her ears from the sharp clutches of toto's sharp pearly white teeth <laughs>